Today, we're talking about the DeepSeq R1 series, specifically the 7B and 8B models. If you've been wondering which one to pick for your projects, you're in the right place. Let's break it down without getting too technical. Both models are part of the same family, but they're built a little differently. The 7B has 7 billion parameters, while the 8B steps it up to 8 billion. Parameters are like the model's brain cells, more of them usually means better handling of complex tasks. The 8B shines in things like creative writing, coding, or multilingual support where depth matters. But don't underestimate the 7 beats, still super capable for every day. Tasks and might be all you need if you're not tackling anything too intense. Now, let's talk hardware. The bigger 8B model asks more from your setup. You'll need a stronger GPU, more VROM, and better overall specs to run it smoothly. If you're working on a laptop or a less powerful machine, the 7B is way more forgiving. It's lighter, faster, and still gets the job done for most things. Speed is another factor the 7B responds quicker, which is perfect for real-time apps or high-volume requests. The 8B trades a bit of speed for deeper, more accurate outputs, so it depends on whether you prioritize efficiency or precision. Cost is another piece of the puzzle. The 8B's extra power means it'll likely cost more, especially if you're using it through an API. If budget matters, the 7B gives you great bang for your buck. Think about your project's needs. Are you building a chatbot that needs instant replies? Go 7B, working on something like advanced code generation or detailed content creation, the 8B might be worth the investment. At the end of the day, both models are solid. The 7B is your go-to for balance, affordable, fast, and resource-friendly. The 8B steps up when you need top-tier performance and have the hardware to back it. Your choice really depends on what you're building and what you're working with. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment if you've tried either model. Love to hear how it went. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more breakdowns on tools like this. See you next time.